That's a thing of the past. Overfishing has led to a steady decrease in the number of fish species available. That includes sharks. In a recent study, first published online on the 20th of September, Yvonne Sidovi and Vivian Lam of the University of Hong Kong used historical information and interviews with fishermen to give the first account of diminishing shark catches in Hong Kong and mainland Chinese waters. One of my students, Vivian Lam, decided to do this for her master's work and so she did a project for several years to look at the history of uh, shark fisheries in Hong Kong and also in southern China. The study particularly focused on fisheries in Hong Kong and the Guangdong, Fujian and Hainan provinces. It reveals that all known shark fisheries in the region diminished catastrophically between the 1970s and the 1990s. So before the 1970s, over 100 species would be found in local markets. Nowadays, you're lucky uh, to find 20. So a five-fold decline in the number of species. She also found that the sizes of individuals had declined enormously. And now most of the fish that are caught are juveniles. They're baby, babies, essentially. Um, she found that fishermen uh, were getting fewer and fewer sharks and as a result of that they had to move further and further away from Hong Kong to actually find sharks. 2007. He says he occasionally saw fishermen catch sharks. The experience shocked him. I was a fisherman cutting the fin lively in front of myself. So at the beginning I was quite surprised and it was quite sad and apparently what and I've been studying fish in Hong Kong for the past like past years about the fish species and abundance in Hong Kong and for the over past five years I've been seeing in Hong Kong the fish now what we are getting is about this size which means it's pretty much about a size of like Hong Kong one dollar so what I've been seeing, for example, in the past, we have been seeing one meter or more than one meter long grouper, yellow croaker, and also snapper. But now what we are observing mostly are like fast growing species. I believe government's, government's involvement in regulation and enforcement is the key element to success in fishery management. And what I understand is in Hong Kong, in the land area, we have 40% which is assigned for country park for no taking and no hunting. But in terms of our water, we have been only have less than 1% which are completely protected in Hong Kong waters.